We want to check in now with CBS News Hurricane Consultant David Bernard, Chief Meteorologist at our Miami station, WFOR. David, good morning to you. Uh, yesterday, these computer models, when you showed us then, were all over the place. Any more agreement today? Yeah, we're in a little better agreement today, Jeff, and not the kind of agreement that Louisiana is looking for. In fact, the very latest that we have on the storm puts it southwest of the Mississippi River or New Orleans by about 240 miles. It may become a tropical storm later today, but really the thing to focus on with this storm is the rain because we don't think it's going to be a very strong storm or potentially hurricane, but with the slow movement, that's going to mean a lot of rain between now and next Tuesday. That's how slow this storm is going to go. This is our rainfall forecast going through the Labor Day holiday where you start to see those purples around the New Orleans area. That could be at least a foot of rain. And if the model is forecasting that much rain over a wide area, we know within some of those spots, some of the rain could be even heavier. Again, in that 15 to 20 inch amount, that certainly is not going to be out of the question. So some tough times could be ahead the next few days across the central Gulf Coast. Uh, elsewhere, we do have to keep an eye on Katia. It was briefly a hurricane. It's now a tropical storm. But keep in mind, once you get through with your Labor Day holiday, once we go through Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we could be heading back to work next week and talking about a Category 3 hurricane somewhere between the Bahamas and Bermuda. And because of that, everyone on the East Coast still needs to be on watch for the potential for Katia later next week. Doing double duty these days, David Bernard from Miami. David, thanks very much.